My name is Marko Pugacnik. I come from Slovenia. Um, I am working in a, a kind of healing, ecological healing work. Uh, area that I, I developed, um, I started with a kind of acupuncture of the earth. This is, I'm doing since 30 years this kind of work, which is, which is positioning stones on, on certain points uh, to balance a place, but the stones are also carved uh, with certain uh, science cosmograms to communicate with, with the place. So, so there is kind of uh, cooperation between the energies of the earth and the cosmos uh, related to the stones and a communication with the place and its beings uh, uh, through the language of uh, co cosmograms, a kind of vi visual language carved in the stones. Um, through this work I came in, in contact with elemental beings. Who are elemental beings? Elemental beings seen traditionally are those beings, consciousness, intelligence that is behind the visual manifestation of nature, of water, of cycles, of movement, of life powers. All this does not go automatic. Uh, automatically, uh, but uh, is always uh, always accompanied, uh, directed, and uh, um, recreated by elemental beings. T traditionally, we speak of dwarves and and uh, fairies, uh, or nixes, and so, so on. B but um, I discovered that uh, th there is. This world is much, much lar larger. Um, it is a kind of parallel reality. So we have on one hand the reality that we are incarnate as human beings. We are incarnated in and among us, uh, around us, are plants and uh, mountains and animals and our uh, fellow hum human beings and the, the whole culture and so. Um, this is one aspect, but there behind what we call uh, the uh, causal level or etheric level, there behind is another dimension uh, where uh, the, the archetypes of everything that exists on the embodied level exist there in the for form of uh, fluid form of archetypes of uh, movements and of consciousness. Um, uh, the, the tragedy of our civilization is that um, w by developing our rational way of uh, thinking and looking at nature and environment, we, we uh, develop a kind of wall. Um, more and more we are closed into three-dimensional world or we uh, are become we are detached from the origins of life so say in a very uh, direct way we, we are uh, we, we self uh, detached uh, broken off the origins so there nature has uh, great difficulties to uh, uh, hold uh, life cycles uh, going, uh, going, and uh, we we perceive these pro pro problems uh, by uh, so-called ecological crisis and the the climate ch changes uh, and so on. But this is from the hum human side. We we need to learn to look at life from both sides, from the human side, but also from the side of elemental worlds. Um, I say elemental worlds because th these are not just uh, four element uh, beings, but it is, there is a different uh, levels of this 
uh, elemental worlds and uh, uh, my perception is that we, we are on, on an equal level while we are embodied uh, we are on the equal level w with them uh, and there there are um, like in the manifested world there are different like plants animals and so on uh, uh, stones and mountains landscapes also on this etheric or uh, causal level there, there are different um, d dimensions of the elemental world for example for example there are um, beings uh, that we, we call microorganisms they in effect they are beings that cannot be seen only with this uh, uh, huge uh, apparatus we, we can see them but in effect they, they are on on the edge between embodied and not embodied they, they are kind of bridge if i ask elemental beings they would say we have also um, uh, working animals and these are the microcosm uh, mic, uh, micro elemental beings that we know as microbes. They, elemental beings hold matrices for anything, for each grass or, or um, halm, uh, grass halm, and the, the um, microorganisms are able to bring this quality, uh, consciousness uh, and forum into, into body so it is not that there is mountains everything stands around us but it is, is recreated constantly needs to be um, recreated in each moment is different if we since we have put these walls around and see the reality only on the rational level uh, since several hun hundred years, th there uh, is a, a great difficulty uh, to that these two world dimension w would uh, uh, communicate with e each other. Um, my, my work uh, changed uh, in the uh, at the threshold of the third millennium when I noticed that there are changes going on in this subtle realm that I say etheric or, or causal realm um, that are not normal they are, they are great changes uh, there um, it, it is like uh, Ga Gaia is not ready to allow that we, with our rational civilization, we destroy this planet. To say it simply, she has developed, started to develop a, a new path, so to say, a new Earth body, which is developed within the, the all. So, um, in, in uh, around the, the year 2000 we found ourselves in in a great uh, turmoil of of changes which is also possible to see from outside but um, in in effect it is uh, the the evolution of gaia uh, uh, change the, the direction. It, it moves in the, in the direction of a pluridimensional planet, which means that the material or embodied level is one aspect, and uh, uh, d then there are other d dimensions in, in this uh, new world uh, build, building, uh, world structure that since ever was in a way but now it starts to be intercon all these levels and dimensions starts to be interconnected at this point the education importance of education comes in we need um, 
ed educators that uh, would help people to pursue beyond the three-dimensional uh, box in which we live uh, ri right now. Uh, because if we don't p pursue those realms, those realms and the new development of our home planet uh, is f for us something abstract. We, we can speak about, books are being written about, but if we don't pursue the quality uh, uh, and, and the, the energy and spiritual uh, levels of uh, th this pluridimensional world that is now coming into being, then, then we are lost in, in a kind of cage with, in effect, without a future. There, there is a clear sense looking at what is going on on the planet, not just with um, uh, ecological problems, but also with all these wars that go on. It is like a, a pass leading nowhere, a closed, closed pass. So, so I started to, to um, search uh, a way uh, and I, I am also teaching this different kind of perception where the uh, rational uh, aspect does not simply uh, enter. You, you look at a place and the, the rational patterns tell you how this place is or what is his function, but nothing about the, the living essence of this place and the beings that, that are uh, constantly working so that uh, life uh, is being completed and renewed in, in, in each moment. So th there is a, uh, the change, th there is a fundamental change in perception. I think this is the main revolution that is going on is to open the heart, we, we say, in, like in a romantic way, but it is not romantic. It means that we have um, sensors, other kind of uh, possibility of perception that is connected to our heart system. We are composed of different heart centers, not just one. Uh, it's, it's, so it, it is first is to feel, to feel comes on the place, first place, to make a heart-to-heart -heart relationship with a place, with a being. Uh, and then the, the rationality, the, the mentality comes in to read the images that come into being, uh, the feelings uh, or colors or sounds that, that we, we perceive in this first phase. Uh, and in the second phase, our consciousness is able to read this uh, uh, phenomena, uh, inward phenomena, and translate into clear uh, expression. What is it? What we have perceived in, in, in perceiving in in such a way, I started to to recognize that the elemental world has ma many different aspects, as I, I mentioned. Be besides these um, micro elemental beings that that I call Gaia sparks that are um, communion beings. They, they uh, move in great uh, fl flocks uh, around and do, do their work. Uh, there is also something that we call fairy worlds. Fairy worlds or uh, with the Celtic name we speak of she. Um, the, uh, she or fa fairy worlds um, are um, aut autonomous culture or civilization developed by Gaia. Um, it, it is, uh, Gaia is not just uh, a mother of life, but she is also mother of cultures. She developed, uh, she has developed 
um, cultures, uh, um, elemental cultures uh, that uh, uh, exist in this more dimensional world, so, so to say, within uh, mountains and within uh, oceans, uh, lakes, or, or um, in, in different places in the landscape, but inside. Um, and the, the, I would say that the, uh, the fairy worlds, or she, um, um, re represent a, a kind of uh, sister of the human, human evolution. We are, um, as brother, we are, we are lost in this world that we don't understand properly, which is uh, fading away, is fading away. Uh, uh, but uh, if we uh, recreate relationships with, with this parallel uh, fairy or, or she worlds, we, we find then somebody um, um, as not just as a friend, but as co-creators, co somebody who can help us to deal with uh, the, the subtle uh, uh, levels and problems uh, within and, and around us that we are otherwise uh, uh, lost w with. Um, the traditions th does not, cannot help uh, so much because they are bound to a certain hierarchical patterns. Um, and so they, they often they see the spiritual above and the earthly below and don't realize that this is one multidimensional uh, rounded up um, holon. Uh, holon, we use this work in geomancy to say a, a, a unit, autonomous unit. Um, Gaia is an uh, autonomous world within larger uh, systems like solar system and uh, galaxy, but she is complete in itself and is uh, able uh, in such dramatic situations as we are now in, open a new path and, and uh, take all the beings and dimensions with, with her. But I think that um, even if we develop a new kind of perception and we develop again collaboration and communication with these parallel worlds, uh, we, we um, cannot uh, lean only on that. I think we need to develop a new kind of uh, civilization. I ca call it Gaia culture because um, I think this is, if you look around what is new, new developing, we all are searching a way to tune human creation to, to Gaia. The, the, uh, uh, m mother creator, let us say, of, uh, of this wonderful planet. Um, and uh, uh, through this attunement, uh, we also uh, tune to all other worlds and uh, search in all different ki uh, ki uh, areas, areas of human creativity, being agriculture or art or, or um, town planning, and so we, we search for new ways, um, but I think that the, the uh, most important in this search is not just uh, go from our own ideas and visions, but always connect also with parallel evolutions and beings, because only together we create a, a whole. Uh, practically, I uh, teach uh, a, a kind of language, 
as I mentioned, I develop, uh, developed a visual card uh, la language of cosmograms. But this is w one thing. But then I d discovered that human hands uh, and also human body is, is a kind of uh, potential language uh, that nature and beings of nature understand they are I would say they are constantly looking at the human being and trying uh, to get from us um, inspiration and all for their work um, and also uh, the possibility of collaboration. Um, our body, so uh, I have partly body exercises, partly exercises w with hands um, and um, uh, practical uh, exercises on places. Like if I, uh, for, for example, the, tr the tree, there is a, a beautiful tree, you would like to contact, to talk to, to this tree. Um, so my proposal is, you stand at the, at the edge of the crown because the, the roots go to the edge of the crown, so you, you are inside uh, the, the aura of the tree. You stand at the edge um, and turn around because uh, per, per, our back has many uh, sensors and if you, uh, if we, uh, also in, in other situations, if we pursue with the back, then we are out of the control of eyes. Eyes control all our perception. We, we need to get rid of this control. So, with the back towards the tree. Uh, and you stand like this, you feel. And now you have two possibilities. Either you imagine that the, the, the tree, uh, um, a branch of a tree, touches your crown uh, chakra uh, and the, the roots go up and touch your soles of the feet. Uh, and uh, so you become part of the flow of uh, the elemental being of the tree. The other possibility is you are still turning back, uh, that you go few steps backward towards the trunk of the tree. Uh, you stop, you feel. You go a bit more, you stop and feel. And then in your imagination you continue and you step into the tree and feel how it is. <laughs> And I think you, you will enjoy uh, these two exercises. Then, then um, um, to, to connect to a ri river or a lake uh, or the ocean, my, my proposal is um, to, to, in your imagination, to bend down and take some of, of water. Um, and then ask, um, the cosmos to uh, uh, sh shed uh, uh, um, drops of cosmic water into, into your hands. And then you spill the, the, this water over your body so that the drops of it um, go down, down and come uh, finally into the lake or river or uh, ocean where, where you are standing and th then feel how from this water body flows upward the, the earthly water let us say and how the cosmic water through you human beings are medium in this case cosmic water flows into, into the, the earth then, then uh, uh, with hands, I, I use, um, for example, at, at a place, I am at a place, or in front of a stone, I, I 
I use the gesture to say open. I ask, this is very simple gesture, all fingers are together, close like stone, and then when you say open, maybe three times, and then you go around the stone and into, into the stone. Or the place is simply open. The, the elemental beings and worlds love human beings. And if invited, they, they open and give you experience. Uh, but also you should be open for this experience. So it's two ways, open is two ways. Uh, then um, I use, uh, for example, for change, to, to bring in a situation uh, energies of change. I use um, such a movement along the edge of uh, hands, because the hands had front, side, uh, which is the manifested, embodied side, and have a, a back, which is the causal, the, the etheric side, uh, from where the impulses come into hands to move. So, so you, you go, um, uh, we have a, the wall that I was telling, that the rational uh, culture b built up, uh, runs around the, the hand to, to prevent uh, the <laughs> communication with, with the uh, subtle side, uh, etheric. So, so you need to go like this in one, one direction, change direction, to break down the wall by, by this, like two milling stones. They break down this wall and um, through so this a uh, change can come in into a place. Um, or, or um, for example, for, for tuning to, to this uh, epoch, uh, when this new pass uh, opens, Gaia opens this new pass of the uh, planetary ev evolution, I, I need, uh, I use such a um, uh, exercise. Y you, you close uh, f finger to finger finger this is the, the the close space we are in now this is the material earth we, we are now uh, uh, touched connected to the material earth so, um, but the future earth is, is connected to the small fingers that represent the air element of air water fire earth air we are now in the face of the earth, uh, but with this change, if you move li like this, always the small fingers come of the thumbs. Thumbs represent the archetypal uh, level of reality. Um, also, for example, for, for protection, I use um, mandorla form to, to build uh, in your imagination around the body. Um, also uh, very uh, useful is the, the gesture of detachment. Um, gesture of detachment um, uh, is useful in the situations where you are in a way attacked uh, by foreign forces, like going to supermarket, there, there are very funny energies. And when you get, get out, make a detachment to be free of these influences. And the detachment is you, you, like, you press for one, two, and with three you uh, detach. So those things that don't belong to your essence are there, <laughs> and you are here. Once again, pressing. Now is a distinction between me and something that is, I feel is not part of me and is, is just making uh, me un unhappy. 
Uh, but uh, th this is some touch, uh, Gaia touch uh, exercises that I developed. You can develop also your own exercises. Gaia touch is an open system that I developed uh, since uh, last uh, 20 years. Uh, but be aware that we are a walking uh, uh, um, communication system with our movements. Uh, be tuned at each moment and uh, the, the parallel worlds, uh, our sister worlds, we appreciate our way of being. Thank you. Bye.